Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Bruce Willis is making his Broadway debut opposite Laurie Metcalf in Misery, the suspense thriller by William Goldman based on the best-selling novel by Stephen King. And we're here on the opening night red carpet where the stars came out to celebrate. Like I said, we never thought, you know, 25 years ago when we were making a film that it's going to turn out to be a Broadway show, although we did think that if anything could lend itself, it would be this because... Uh, it, it takes place in one room. 75% of the film took place in one room, and it's essentially a two-character piece. This is, I was here two nights ago. This, I'm so glad Suspense Thriller is back on Broadway. Yeah. What was it like? I mean, you worked with Stephen King before this, right? Yes, I did, I did uh, Stand By Me, which was based on a short story called The Body. And we also, we, at, at Castle Rock, we actually produced seven Stephen King uh, stories into films. We did The Green Mile, and we did Dolores Claiborne, and Shawshank Redemption, and uh, so we're pretty, uh, we're pretty connected with him. I love a feel bad. I hope it's a feel bad horror thumb where people are gagging in the aisles and screaming. I was here two nights ago. This is so scary. It is so great to have a suspense thriller back on Broadway. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm a Were you fan. A big I saw the movie. I read the book. Well, let's talk about this. You're a big yeah. fan of the book and yeah. the movie, right? Yeah, so each time they got to change it a little, you know, to make it new, which I bet they did. I'm sure they did. So when you think of... start singing. When you think of misery, what's the scariest scene in the book or the film that comes to mind for you? Well, anybody that's, that it has made every fan that ever says to you, I'm your biggest fan, a nightmare. So that line, who anyone who's ever signed an autograph, someone said that to him. So it has taken on a whole new meaning. Are you a huge fan of the book and the film? I'm too scared to be a fan of anything that's horror-oriented. Kayala, on the other hand, is jumping stuff. up and oh. down. She's been waiting to see this show for how long? <laughs> for oh, Well, I wanted to be in it, but that didn't work out. I saw this two nights ago. We all know the ending. I was so scared. It is so fabulous to have this back. I'm going. I'm going home. I so, love get it over here. Get over here. You wait. Wait. If you could pick like the scariest part of the book or the film, what's it for you? It's the end when he's at. Sure. In the Wait, 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 no, plug your ears, plug your ears, la, 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 la. Plug your ears, plug. It's at the plug end of the movie, something. it's at the end of the movie, um, where he's in the restaurant, and he looks up and he thinks he sees her, and he for a split second almost dies, and realizes, oh no, it's her, but so then you, you can't really it. say you it. You've just ruined it for everyone. No, you heard nothing. You, you weren't supposed to listen. No, but everybody else is listening. No, no, but that's afterwards, that's afterwards. Okay. Yeah, that, we, as soon as the lights go out, that's going to be the scariest part for me, in general. Were you a big fan of the book or the film before here? Yes, I'm a huge fan of the book and the film, both. Um, and I've even read the adapted s the, the screen, the play. So I'm a fan of all three forms. I think it's one of just a great, it's a great story. It's a beautifully written story, you know, perfectly written mystery. It's great. You know, there's not been a suspense thriller on Broadway, I think, since something like Death Trap. But you know, this is great because it's such a claustrophobic story, and so the intensity of a theater and the sort of sense of being trapped, I'm really looking forward to it. And I can't imagine anyone better for this part than Laurie Metcalf, so I really wanted to be here tonight. I'm so excited. Yes. I, I mean, I want to be scared, personally. <laughs> Get ready, my friend. I was here two nights ago. Oh, yeah. It is so... And we know the story, but it's so scary. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I have to say, I, I mean, I, as I was just saying I, I'm kind of very fascinated with the process of adaptation so I want to see what they've actually done with the source material so yeah yeah and I'm I mean that's not scary in itself but uh, yeah the effect that we're all you know waiting for <laughs> should be great and Bruce Willis my god come on <laughs> Were you a big fan of the book or the film? Uh, I love the film. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't think I ever read the book. I must have read the book because I've read a lot of Stephen King, but I don't know. I can't remember. But the book, but the film had a great effect on me with Kathy Bates and. What's the scariest part of the film when you when you hear the word misery? What comes to mind? Like I hope this never happens to me. Well, I think of the hobbling. Yes, as we all do. How excited! A suspense thriller on Broadway. Besides yours. Besides mine. No, I'm excited to see what they're gonna do. You know how they're gonna keep the audience's hearts going. We're trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Have you been a big fan of the book or the film? No, you know, I'm actually going in completely cold. I'm just excited to be here and to see these two great actors. Go at it, yeah. This is so scary. Oh, God, I don't know if I'm ready. See, I grew up without a TV, so I didn't grow up with these thrillers or anything, so I just go to the theater for mine. Were you a big fan of the book or the film? Yes, both. Like, both religiously. I was here the other night. It is so scary. I love it. I can't wait. It's like a suspense I'm thriller I'm back. Scary movies and thrillers and things of that nature. I'm obsessed. Like, I watch them all the time. We have a scary movie club that I have, too. 
do it all the time. Okay. Scariest part of the movie for you is what? That you say, I hope this never happens to me. Oh my, when she pushes him down the stairs. I mean, like, come on. Just, I'll, do, I'll be like, oh, fine, I'll do anything. I'll cook your food, I'll wash your feet. Just don't push me down the stairs. Totally. <laughs> but isn't it great to have a suspense thriller back on Broadway? Yes. I've been waiting for a while. We haven't had one in a while, right? I've been waiting because I because I love it. I love that stuff. You guys to be here. I'm excited and a little scared. I'm a little, I don't, when she brings out that sledgehammer, I'm going to be a little, like, you know, biting the nails. I can't wait for someone to be clubbed. That's what I've been waiting all day for. Someone to be just swiped right across the ankles. <laughs> I was here the other day. It is so so scary this show were you fans of the film huge fans loved it yeah. loved it loved it loved it can i wait to see Lori metcalf yes she is gonna scare us and keep us awake all night <laughs> okay so when you think of misery what part of the story comes to mind for each of you you go first let's see i'm gonna say when he's coming when she's coming back from town and he's like Holy crap. In what? the kitchen? Like, yes. And like, what am I getting for the night? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love that part. Love it, love it, love it. From the minute the car crash happens, I'm like, okay, this is not going to be good for anyone. But <laughs> beautifully fun for everybody in the audience. What's it been like living in the world of the Willis home with him rehearsing this show? Tell me. You know what? He started rehearsing a long time ago and just, you know, getting his lines and doing all that and heading off. And, you know, I've been... I was reading lines with him at one point. Did he tell you that? Oh my God! Oh God! Because that's tell me. No, I, I had you know Annie Wilkes down so well until I saw Lori do it, and I was like, oh well, gosh, she just plays it way better than I do. Um, yeah. So I mean, he's just been in full misery mode. He doesn't bring it home, obviously, except for the scars and the bruises on his legs at the end of the night. But um, but yeah, well, we're yeah. we're freaks for the Stephen King and so, the misery and the misery and the Metcalf and the, and the Willis and the Willis. Yeah, we're pretty and the rest. I was here the other night. This is so scary. I was thinking the last time on Broadway was like Sleuth and Death Trap. We've not had a mystery suspense on Broadway in so many years. It's hard, it's hard to do it. The, the last thing that was scary was let the right one in it. Bam. It was oh, terrifying. Was but awesome. I haven't seen anything that scary in a while. Yeah, yeah that was scary at Bam. It was a vampire oh, yeah. play. Okay, so scariest part when you're like, oh God, when I think of misery, I'm like, please never let that happen oh, to me. The hobbling is, the is, hobbling is brutal. But when he's like but crawling to. to get back in the chair when she's on her way home is horrifying. Or when she notices the pig is out of place. <laughs> you know something horrible <laughs> oh, is going to happen. Right. His whole set turns as he goes into the kitchen. You're going to be so freakish. When she, is it hobbling? Yeah. Hobbling. I, I don't even tell me. It's I don't want to know. Word for really no, what are you, you're like my sister. Thing. He gives it all away. It's hilarious. <laughs> no, when you know. Yeah. <laughs> They all die. Yeah, I know. They all die in the issue. Like, don't see I, don't, that I don't want to say this, but I, I won't say too much. But yeah, they all get crucified Wait, at the end. You see it and you hear the crack and you're like, oh yeah. my God, it's brilliant. It's yeah. so brilliant. I can't. Oh, I can't okay. wait. So, you two are back on stage yeah, together. Yeah. Talk yeah. about your new well, show. It's our, Steve it's our at first the new time group. on stage together, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve. It's called it's, Steve. Yeah, it's okay. a great. At the new group. Cynthia Nixon. That's not a person, that's a show. Yeah. Well, it's a person too. But. It's more many persons. <laughs> yeah, and it's Cynthia Nixon directed it, and we're excited to do it together. I feel, I mean, I feel spectacular. It's such a strange, amazing, wonderful moment to suddenly have a show on Broadway. It's such an incredible and odd thing to be happening. So I'm very excited and slightly baffled by the whole, by the whole thing. Were you a big fan of the book and the film before you took this project I, on? No, I'd never seen the film because I, I, am, I am a coward. No. And I remembered the trailer and, and I found it too scary to imagine watching the film. So no, and then I watched, when I when they called me about it, and I before I went in to talk to everyone for the first time, my daughter was born three days before the before before I met with the people. So I sat in the hospital with my like two-day-old daughter and I'm like, reading this book in a state of complete... And like freaking out, right? Freaking out completely.